A very good evening to you. I hope you're well and a happy 16th birthday. Totally patched, turned sweet 16 and never been kissed, I'm guessing. Uh, as it is a birthday, I was going to say more to that, but I can't. Uh, as it is a birthday celebration, before we get into absolutely anything that you are looking at here, uh, you are also going to get a free gift with purchase. One per person, okay, one per household, as it were. Uh, you are getting the pattern with the pre-cut pieces to make... Uh, these, to make these little beautiful little pinwheels uh, that we've got here. So if you've never tried before, if you've always wanted to go, maybe this is where you're going. So it's worth £14.50. You get a total kit is what you're getting. You also get the pieces as well. Obviously, then your pieces will look like this. That is one per customer is what you're going to be getting as a gift. And obviously, when we talk Totally Patched, we are never alone. No, here they are. Yes, indeed, live in the studio. It's been a while since I've worked with them. I love it when they're here because they bicker, and that's the best bit for me. Uh, it is our pattern, Mark. How are you both? We're, We're good. Really good, thank Happy you. Happy birthday, first of all. Thank, thank you. you. Do I look 16? Well, you don't look a day over 21. <laughs> Keep going. You're you doing well. No, do doing all right. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. doing all right. Uh, first of all, free gift, absolutely phenomenal. It sort of gives someone a sort of little toe in the door, doesn't it? Like a, a, a toe in the water to have them working on patchwork. Yeah, just to do a couple of blocks, there's two methods of making the block in the instructions as well. So you've got, you're learning two ways of making a pinwheel block. And that is to start with. Not only are you going to get that, we've then got four options in the one day special. Now, before I go any further, you are gonna be able to make a 45 inch by 45 inch quilt. And this is the best bit. Normally when we do quilts, we talk, yeah, you get the top. You're just making the top. You're making the beautiful top and then you have to get everything else. The binding of this, you're getting backing. You're getting the wadding in there. Everything is pre-cut that you need in there as well. And that is what we love about Totally Patch. And there are four options to choose from. There is a massive saving of £25.50 and pence is what you're looking at and it's also on three interest-free flexible payments is what you're getting. £33, by Jove, £33 and 16 pence today is going to get you a full quilt, okay? Now the quilts that you see behind me are the finished articles and there is more to this that I'll get to when I get down the end, okay? Because in theory, you're not just buying into one quilt. Right, let's go through your options first. You've got your warm winter wishes uh, that we're looking at, which is absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. Remember, tell you perhaps everything comes pre-cut for you. Uh, so you haven't got to worry about measurements and things like that. It's all there. And remember, these are finished quilts that you will be creating. And I think... That's, I think it's the first time I've seen for this sort of price as well, three flexes of 33.16 for a complete kit. Yeah. And we mean complete, don't we? I think we're, this is the first time we've bought a complete kit with wadding yeah. and backing and everything else. We wanted to give the whole package. We like to do a, a one day very special. Yeah. And um, we try and do something different each time. So this time, nothing to think about at all. And lots of bonuses along the way, which we talk about now or later. Well, in a minute. Well, let me go through the colours okay. and then we'll yeah. talk about the bonuses because there are okay. bonuses to each one of these kits. Yeah. Okay, warm winter wishes. We're busy already, okay? What I'm going to say to do is if you like one and your budget will stretch, I'd go for two or three of these and it'll all make sense in a minute, <laughs> okay? But if you like them, I'd get a few of them because I know once it sort of not wise. Uh, <laughs> Prairie Dreams is what we're talking about next, which is this one just here. Uh, quite autumnal is our Prairie Dreams, I feel. Yeah, it's uh, autumnal colours. Um, both those and the warm winter wishes are motor fabric as well, which oh. is uh, either more tick in a box. Um, well, I got motor fabric for thirty-three pounds <laughs> sixteen pence for Tot a finished quilt. Pat said it was special. I, and I would say the warm winter wishes is by Holly Taylor for Moda, and it literally landed in this country two weeks ago. We've had to, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting yeah. and it's been delayed and delayed and we've turned it round because we really wanted to bring it. Oh my words, we're talking Moda, we're talking a full quilt, not just top that we normally do, we are talking a full 
quilt is what you're going to be getting. £99, £49, or £33 and £16. That's your pair of dreams. Then you've got your greys. Up next, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Because uh, it, it will sort of go in any room uh, that, you're, that you're going in there. Absolutely beautiful. So remember, you're getting all your pre-cuts that there, and you're getting your backings as well. And you're going to get the wadding. Backing's very special. I will touch on that when I get to the end. I've got, still got a lot to get through. Uh, so, but this is what you're looking at at the moment. This is your classical grey. I love this one. Absolutely beautiful. 99 pounds, 49 pence, 25 pounds and 50 pence saving. Then last but no means least, and then we'll get into the good stuff. Uh, <laughs> then, it is the good stuff though, because there's more you could do with these that I'm actually telling you, I'm teasing you. Uh, then you've got a softer snow. Uh, which is this one uh, just here that you're looking at. So your soft as snow that you gave me. Everything is very different. There is something here for everyone. You will be hard pushed, I feel, personally, to say, actually, none of them are mine. You, you would be hard pushed. There is something here. You've sort of covered every single boundary with this, I yeah, feel. Yeah, we've tried, yes. That's why we <laughs> wanted them different. We wanted, a, um, you know, a warm winter, which is wintry, and autumnal soft as snow and then classically grey we want so, we tried hard to source all the fabric to get this together a colour palette for everybody mm. well, uh, yeah, really matter what, what decor you've got or where you think it can go in the, in the in, in your house uh it it will actually one of them will fit somewhere now before we move on to the calico okay i'm just going to go through the other bits that you get in the packs okay now i've got calico on the show okay i have it on the show but before i show you this there is a little twist with these kits and it's the first time I've seen it. Now I was briefed about this but I'm going to let Pat talk about it first <laughs> and I'm going to do it the second time around because it gets very confusing. Okay, if you've got a pen of paper you may need one. <laughs> so, buy one kit, we make one quilt. Correct. Okay? Finished quilt. Yeah. Buy two, three or four of the same kits. Yeah. In my mind you would make two, three or four little quilts. Or, or you can do different things to make bigger quilts. So what we've done, um, each kit has got its coordinated paperwork that tells you this is your one quilt, which this size is, it's lovely for the top of, um, you know, to put on the top of a bed or throw over a chair or that sort of thing. But Ten, some Sorry, 10% so of the classical grey already gone. 10% <laughs> has already gone of the classical grey. It's just going to get busier. Um, but some people like larger quilts. Some people want to dip their toe in now. It's great for a beginner, so that size is very, very manageable. Or if you want to take it a step further, you could, we've given you the plan here to do a quilt that needs two kits now what what if if we can go onto this quilt here yeah, we're there, we're we're there. there. Yeah. that quilt is two kits but i've put some backing fabric in the corners okay which we'll come to in a minute 20 percent of the gray now has already <laughs> gone 20 percent of the gray has gone or you can buy three kits and you will get, I've forgotten the numbers, you will get uh, 48 blocks and you'll have 12 left over. So you can make this size and then some pillow shams, cushions, whatever you want. And then if you want, if that's, a, that's that layout. If you want to turn the quilt round, you can use this layout. So whichever one you're doing, whatever size, you can turn them round and it gives it a different look. That's turn the blocks around. You turn mean. the blocks Turn round. the blocks around to give a different... Yeah. Yeah. Design. Yeah. Design. That's um, or if you want to do four kits, which I think is gorgeous and I just haven't had time to make one, you can make this design here. Beautiful. So the so but the step from one to two isn't huge financially and it gives you a much bigger quilt. And then you can still add borders um, and that's your option. See, I like that, but then the twist of this again, which yeah. I think is absolutely amazing, is the backing fabrics that you are getting in these kits. Normally you get the good stuff on the top. <laughs> let's be fair, let's say it as it is, let's call it a spade a spade. Uh, you get the good stuff on the top, and then the back you don't, you don't have such of the good stuff because you don't really see. With this, yeah. you are giving us what we're getting on the top, we're also gonna get for the backs, as you can see in all the kits here, these are the back pieces yeah so you've got squares from the ranges so they match exactly um, for your backing 
So you have to join them together. You have to piece them into the squares together. Um, and then you've got a back and a front to your quilt. But. That, so this is where I talk about the calico <laughs> now. Yeah. So out of one kit that makes a complete kit, <laughs> if you add your calico in, are you still with me? <laughs> If you add your calico into one kit, not only will you be creating one of these, but you're also going to be creating another quilt with what you would use for the backing. You make a separate quilt that would look like this. With that's over with pattern mark that you've got there. So that's a small one. There's the big one, but that's not using the backing fabric. If we look at what um, pattern mark are holding now, that is using the backing that so comes in the kit. That comes in the kit. So yeah. that's just using the backing. Okay? Are you with me? So, <laughs> sorry, Chris, I'm going to be a right pain. I'm going that way to the quilt that matches. Okay? Come with me. I'm going totally off piece. So, this quilt here, okay, with the backing, as you can see, it's got no backing. Where's the backing? Pat and Mark have got the backing. So that is two quilts, okay? So that quilt there, oh, here he is. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. So you've got the front and then you've got the backing that they've turned into a quilt up. And that's from one kit. Yeah, one kit. From one kit, you <laughs> could do Thank you, team. Thank you, team. So if you want to do that, you can do that as well. So you need your own backing. So you go for the calico, you can make two. So in theory, you need two lots of calico because you're going to need backing, but you get the wadding for one of them. I know it sounds confusing, but once you've got it, it's there. £15.90. We did it, team. We did it. So we got through it. So what are we talking about? We are talking about a complete quilt from the top, the middle and the bottom is what you are looking at. From the top, the middle, the bottom, you use the bottom to make another quilt, which gives you two quilts. Go for the same option again in all of this. Uh, you're then also going to... A third of the stock of the grey option now has already gone. Right, I'm going to stop with any more editorial because this is flying out the door. Jump to the website, you can shop ahead of me. I've got loads more on the website. Loads more. I've got cushions to match uh, with all the quilts as well. Uh, we've got pillars, we've got runners. Everything that you need is also on there. Even your innards for your cushion. Oh, duck feather innards. Oh, posh. Uh, even the snazzy little cups that fly at the door time and time again. And there's your free gift lot on the end. 14 pounds, 50 pence. It is your free gift that you will get. One gift per person is what you're going to be getting this one. Worth 14 pounds and 50 pence is what you're looking at. Righty then. That is that. That is all done. I hope you understand all this. Remember, we will be pushing on again. Basically, what you're getting is good value for money. Let's do it that way, <laughs> is what you're actually getting. Uh, right, should we go to demo and see what we're up to? Right, then, what are we up to first? OK. Um, first of all, I just wanted to show you how you get your box. Comes like this, beautifully packaged. Um, you'll get your full instructions for your colour of quilt. You don't have to guess where they go because there's a different colour. And then you get your think about your sizes option. Okay. So that's how the full quilt will come with your squares in the back and all your pieces for your log cabins on top. Um, what I would do, I'm, I'm demoing with Warm Winter Wishes. We've called this collection, we thought it would be a bit posh, and we've called it Cozy by the Fire. I like it. I like it too. I like it. Yeah. So that's our collection of four quilts. Um, I've really loved doing them. I'm to Mark. Yeah, every one you've done, yeah. you've liked that, and then you made the next one, you liked that even more, and then yeah. you've got the three and four, I don't know which one we like best now. <laughs> no, yeah, I like them all now. Um, also, all on... In the pattern, you've got these templates here. These are quilting templates, which the design has been quilted in the central square of the block. The, uh, you can, there's a leaf, a snowflake, a star and a heart. You can put them where you like, but you get all four with, the, with each one, just Fabulous. so you don't have to be, you know, just doing the heart if you want the star. And you all, get a choice. And all that, yeah, you've got a choice. So what I would do is I would get my fabrics out of the box and put them exactly how they are here on the table. This is exactly how I've made every quilt. Um, and put them up in size, okay? So you've got darks and lights, darks and lights, darks and lights. Um, this is our central square and this is where you start. So if you put them here, you can't go wrong. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. Hmm. I, I did go wrong. Yes. You did? I did go wrong, yeah. Because I wanted to make this bigger quilt for the two, two 
kit yeah. option and I really had to fly with that one because it was very tight to the wire tight You're quite right so um, as you can see the first piece will fit on the square that you've got you put them uh, edge to edge and you're going to stitch quarter inch seam throughout the um, project quarter inch seam is crucial because it's a simple block simple design but you want your seams to be equal so that your all of your squares are going to be the same size um, so you know, most people have got cracked their quarter of an inch if you haven't just measure it make sure you're where you are i spoke to a lady this week she has were not quite right and then she tweaked it and she realized what she was doing wrong so quarter inch seam and press out from the center towards the strip you've added the log we call it um, gray option now <laughs> almost 50 percent of the stock has already gone I think you're buying more than one. I'm going for this one. You're doubling up, you're going for the big quilt is what you're going for. Remember the quilt that you see on the patio doors behind Pat and Mark? That is, that's four kit, two kits. Two kits. That's two, two, kit. two, kits. two kits. That's two kits. <laughs> two kits. But can be made in any of the quilts, not okay. only the grey. So say again? Can, can be made in any of the quilts, not only the grey. Oh yeah, no, yeah. You can make them in any of the quilts that I've got in front of me. Obviously, bless her, she's, there's only one of her. She can't keep running off. She's like Cinderella. <laughs> she is sitting there, sitting there, three little mice on the corner, <laughs> chatting away. Uh, I've made all of these. Uh, but you can do that in any colourway that you see in front of me, but almost 50% of the stock. And that that you see there is only two of the quilts that you got. And so you're going to get all the backings as well. Um, many, many, many people now are adding in the quilt and you're also adding the calico because you're now, it's slowly dawning on you what you can do with this. <laughs> It is slowly dawning on you, 99 pounds and 49 pence, but why pay that? Split the cost into three interest-free flexible payments, which means if you're going for two, 66 pounds and 20, 30, 50, I'd pay. 66 pounds and 50, I'd uh, round there. Uh, it won't be far off. Uh, but that's for two of the kits. Uh, it's worth having a little go if I was you, because that'd be first of your three interest-free flexible payments. Right then, let's get back to demo. Okay. So I've stitched that on and I've pressed the seam out towards the, what we call the log. This is a strip. Um, and now I'm onto the next one. So I'm just moving up what I've got here. So this one's going to fit here. Um, all the instructions, all these pictures, everything I'm showing you is in the pattern. So that's what I did first. They're not there. This is what I did first by laying out the uh, strips. This is where I am now. Done that. Shows you how to press them. And I'm now here. I'm going to attach this one onto here so okay. away we go so you don't have to remember this just sit back enjoy and it looks and i'm gonna say it looks quite beginner friendly very mm. to make a quilt of this size it looks very because everything is pretty and i think that's the hardest bit it's the cutting yeah. people get scared of oh, i've got fabrics that still sits in a box at home yeah. that i daren't cut just in case i get it wrong you know if i mess it up i've messed it up then and i can't go back to it You've done the hard work for us, so in theory, we just get to do the good bit, the enjoyable yeah, bit. That, that's, that's what we do. We, we do all the cutting so people can enjoy making the process and they don't have to worry about the, the fear factor of cutting fabric yeah. or buying the equipment as well if, if they want to just dab one and they go first. Because some of the equipment can be quite expensive. So if you just want to have a, a try, before you buy sort of thing as they say it's worth having then it's worth having a kit that's already cut and if you are just starting out the perk of being a 16th birthday i suppose is you are going to get the freebie as well so you can try with this first and in i'm going to say i reckon this is slightly harder than the quilt that you're actually doing because you're doing it half is square slightly, yes. you're doing uh, half square <laughs> triangles yes. is what you're getting with this one so if you can do this you can muster a quilt together in a couple of days you really can if you can muster this you can do the quilt because they are harder than what we're actually doing at the moment uh, now i need to tell you two thirds of the gray has already gone two thirds of the gray everything's cut the panels that you see here are your back panels that you are looking at so that is your finished quilt if you're going for one that is the size you are getting but remember you are getting a full quilt yeah that's right you heard me correctly a full quilt I've got all the gubbins there, look, everything. You get everything that you need. This will all come to your door for you so you can make a ready-made quilt, uh, I reckon in a couple of days. It's really worth having a little go. 
Because I think once you start, you'll be addicted. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. I think you will say. <laughs> yeah. I think you're right. Um, it, it, and it's once you've done one, you think, oh, great. And then you, you're on. And, and I, I sort of like to get a row together quite early on, though, don't I? Yeah, I'm yeah. a little bit. So I'd probably get like six done and then I'd get a row together and then move on. What, what I'd enjoy doing is making like six of them and then turning around to see what patterns yeah, you can make. And then yeah, Mark have another row and see what patterns you can make yeah, with yeah. that. And then if you sort to. of have yeah. a little play with it and yeah, before, you actually, it go. before you actually get the whole thing designed out. Yeah. Uh, right, so as you can see, what's happening is as I'm going up my row of uh, strips, and the other thing about cutting, cutting strips is quite difficult to get them all the right width. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it, Mark? I'm just nodding, yes. Yeah, um, and, it's, and it's a bit boring as well. Nodding, it's, nodding again. Because <laughs> it's just strips, isn't it? Like, there's no variation on you, you know, you're just going to cut strips. That's so thing. that's another advantage of, of having them done. And as I'm picking one off the top, right, I'm, my next one underneath, is I'm seeing the wrong side of it. So I know how far I've got, if the doorbell rings or the phone rings or anything, and then I move to my next one. Now, this is, the, this is a lot of people will know this, but a lot of people might be new to it, so I'm going to tell them. Once you've got three pieces of fabric on, so we've got one, two, three. When we start, when we put our fourth on, if you notice, there's two seams here. One, two. Can they see me okay, Mark? Yeah. One, yeah. two. Here, we've got one join look. If you're looking at the outside, here we've got two. Here we've got one. Here we've got one. Here we've got none at all. And it's always the... the the side you add to is always the one with two joins in it, okay? Whatever log cabin you're doing, that's always the way it works. And go the same way round for each um, log. Don't go backwards one and forwards one. So if you follow the pattern, you'll be okay. So, but once you've done one, doesn't matter which way you go, you could go the other way and it, you'd still get uh, the, the same result. Just keep them the same way. Just looks neater. So I'm putting my other... Do you My, need a machine that's got all the bells and whistles? No. You need a machine that will show a slower straight line. Yeah. End of story. We've well, actually had one lady uh, who's done a log cabin previous with us uh, by hand. Oh, takes wow. takes a, a, a while, but it is possible. It's, do, it's yes. doable by hand. Just yeah. Draw the quarter of a line, so on that, by hand. And they look really lovely yeah. when they're made by hand. Soft, you know. I suppose you could, because you, because you're only doing a, a panel at a time, as it were. You could. This is something you could do, but yeah, it will take you a, a while. Yeah. yeah. But you could do because you're only going the small squares yeah. at That's a time, right. aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So it's very manageable to do by hand. But uh, definitely a machine that does a straight stitch. That's all you need. Nothing else at all. Um, so right, I'm now. I've got this far along my section. I'm going on to this one here because. I'm seeing the right side of it. Um, I've done two darks and two lights, so now I know I'm doing another dark. So I look at my edge and I think, well, shall I, is it this, do I need it here? Oh, look, I've only got one join. One no, one, two. There this is. is where I need it, because I've got my two joins. So keep that all the while in your head. So that Golden one, rule. Very golden. Is, it's in here, is it written in red? I don't know if it is, actually. Ooh. Well, they can they just hear watching me, yeah, that's all. Yeah. You've got to be watching. And you've got to be in the game, haven't you? <laughs> so here we are. I'm just going to add it to there because it's got two seams, OK? Whether you're whatever fabric, whichever size lug cabin you're doing, if you were doing a tiny little miniature one, that's always the rule. And press as you go. Don't be tempted to put the thing, put two on. Like, it, it, it just doesn't work. I, I, y y y you're always better to put um, a row on and a strip on and then press and when I say press um, I literally mean this I don't why I know is that because it looks crisper no because if you've got a little bit of if you try and join the next one on and this seam isn't perfect you might get a little ripple okay so when you do the pressing so press away from you to the strip you've just added and you see I didn't do any of this no none of this just press away from me then you get a nice crisp seam so there we are we, we've done this one because it's wrong side yeah they're with me yeah yeah so now I'm going to the right side facing because that's where I am it's going to go here because it's on my dark side and two seams this is a very traditional patchwork block one of the oldest blocks um, started in um, 
log cabins when people used to sit and cut, uh, stitch by candlelight, so with, uh, cut with scissors. And the central piece traditionally is red, the central square for the fire, the hearth of the log cabin, and the strips represent the actual log cabin itself. So it's just a nice, you know, you can imagine it's you there, can't you? Well, yeah. Yeah. You can imagine you there in the little log cabin. Bottom of the garden. Forest. I mean, in the wilds. Not at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> In the wilds. In the wilds, yeah. yes. There we go, onto there, keep going. And super duper. You need 16 of these to make the small one. Etc. etc. <laughs> we'll let you stitch the next ones on. Let me give you a quick recap of the options that we got. Remember, there are four options. Uh, that, you can, uh, that you can choose from. So you've got your warm winter wishes that we're currently demonstrating at the moment. Over 20% of your warm wishes. Shall I move out the way? Let me move this way. If I go that way, look. Uh, over your warm winter wishes uh, that you've got there. Uh, so the, you can see absolutely beautiful work that you've got all the way through that. Absolutely stunning. So remember, there are finish kits that you are looking at on all of these. So I've said that. you are not only getting the front you are not only getting the inner you are getting the wadding you are get also going to get the backing so all of these that you see stood up on each of the samples okay they are the backings of your quilts but as we said at the top of the show that could be a second quilt if you wanted it to be so you would get the front of the quilt you would then also get yes it's been there. Uh, let me move the, let me move the budget um, so, uh, <laughs> big books. Uh, so, uh, you also get the back of the quilt, but this could be a quilt on its own should you want it to be. Go easy for yourself, Adam. Uh, so, it could be a quilt if you wanted it to be, that you just need to get then your wadding and you need to get all that separately. But you, in theory, we have two quilts in one kit. Case management are watching. Uh, so, you've then also got Prairie Dreams on the show. 20% of this option now has already gone. The little motifs that you see in here come in all of the kits. They all match each individual, but you are going to get all of them. And once again, you've also got the backings included. We're talking Moda fabric. £33.16 with a 25 pence and a 50 pence saving is what you got. Then, by far the busiest so far, three quarters of the stock of Classical Grey has already gone. Three quarters of the stock of your Classical Grey now has gone on this one. Remember, your item number 482632 is your item number on this one. So you've got uh, your backings in there. You've got all the pieces pre-cut. That's what we know and love about Totally Patched. Everything has been done for you. We are massive around the world this evening as well. Uh, we've got busy in America and busy in Europe as well. Uh, busy here in the United Kingdom. Uh, so this is your grey option, and then you've got your festive snow uh, option. Softly snow, sorry. Uh, softly snow is what you're getting. Uh, love the softly snow. It reminds me quite childlike-esque with this one. I can see it on a cot, like a little playroom or somewhere like that. Especially the backing as well that you've got on this. Remember, you can see two quilts uh, that you've got on these two, which is absolutely beautiful. Everything, as I said, everything's pre-cut. £99.49 and pence is a one-off payment, but as you said in the instructions, you are going to get the instructions. So if you buy two kits, you can make a bigger piece, okay? If you're going to only buy one kit, but you also want to make a, a double quilt, you can also make that, but you can make a quilt that's two, or you can make a, a quilt that's three. That is the backing fabric from the one that you've seen uh, in front at the moment, okay? So you can make two quilts out of these, but what you're going to need is calico. And I've got this on the show as well. I've got you some calico uh, on the show. It's worth having a little look at this one. £15.99. 40% of the options has already gone. Four of the options. 40% of the stock has already gone. 50 inches by 50 inches is what you're looking at. Fix um, the extra quilt option. So the extra quilt option is basically the back of the quilt that we were talking about earlier, okay? So it will fit. So it will fit, it's worth having a little look. Right then, some other things that we've got on the show as well. Um, is your book. 
Now, you've already found this on this one. There's eight patterns in here. Okay, this is your totally uh, cosy by the log uh, fire pattern booklet. Uh, so what's in the booklet? Everything. Everything is on the show. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> in the booklet is all is the quilts. <laughs> it's the old, table runner, oh, old cushions. alternatives to make them larger. Yeah, the table runners, the cushions. So everything, yeah. basically everything that's in here everything i've got maybe you've got a big stash already that you've got in there so you can make your log cabin quilts uh, you've also got your cushions in here uh, table runners which i'll get to in a minute but maybe you've got your own little stash at home maybe you've been uh, sort of hoarding away like a little hamster over the year uh, now it's the dark nights are drawing in this is where you do you sit in your little sewing room and this is what you do during the evening uh, it's worth having a look october 2021 pattern collection 21 pounds and 49 pence right then something else is your autumn leaf cushion uh, mm -hmm. that we're looking at now so this is uh, your cushion that we're looking at and then you see just up there uh, your autumn leaf cushion, which matches the quilt perfectly as well because it's the same fabrics that you've got running through these the beautiful uh, is it a maple leaf it, is. it could well be <laughs> nature is not my best thing but i thought it looked a bit like one no, it does look like a maple <laughs> i got it first time and uh, i love it actually the cushion i think it's gorgeous no, it is a beautiful it is a beautiful little cushion it matches perfectly um the, what you're getting there i also see see once you've got this pattern booklet you can tweak this slightly i also see with the colors that are in there little pumpkins if you sort of <laughs> filled in the bottom bits you've got yourself little pumpkins that's in there or a little bat if you go back, or little apples, if you want to go summer-esque with them. Uh, it's entirely up to you, you don't get the patterns for them, that's they're copyrighted to me. I'll have a booklet out next week, is what I'm having. Uh, but, <laughs> but to get my booklet out, I need to get this one first to find out how to make them. Uh, £26.49, uh, 086193 is your item number uh, for your cushion kit. Now, your table runner that we've got is all the way down there. But your table runner, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it, it works well as well. It works with the kits that you've bought with us. Everything sort of ties in really well. Well, I got a bit, you know, carried, carried away, away and thought, oh, well, I'll do a little cushion to go with that and then I'll do a runner and then, and then I thought, you started two, you've got to do all of them. can I do right. some more? And I just kept going till I ran out of time. Which is, I, lo I love <laughs> it though. I think it's amazing because it look how well uh, that works uh, with the fabric that you've got next door to it as well. And it, it's all the same fabric, which I love. It's all Moda. We're talking the big name of Moda at ridiculous prices. We really are. £37.99. If you're loving the grey, which you are, uh, we've also got cushions on the show as well. Now, does it get enough to make both of these? Or is it one cushion and one... One cushion, one's a scrappy mat. They're two, make, no. two different. There are two items on the yeah. show. The first one's the stars, classically grey stars cushion. Yes. And the other one's called a scrappy little grey mat. We'll just do the cushion first. I'll give you the details <laughs> of the scrappy little mat in a minute. Confused by Seth. Sorry. I know, it's very nice. Uh, so there's your little cushion that we're looking at. And uh, that is your 16 inch cushion. We've got the innards for this as well on the website. I saw them earlier. The duck feather innards as well. Very posh. Uh, 21 pounds and 49 pence. 932708. If you want. The scrappy little grey mat. I don't like calling it a scrappy little grey mat. Don't say the <laughs> nicest day, but you've got a little scrappy I think it's mat. a nice name for it. It's good. It's, it'd be quite nice to make um, travel nuts, um, nuts and crosses. Is what oh, I'm yes. So you, you get your little patterns. You can make little nuts and crosses, like a little travel one, a little bit of Velcro. Yeah. Uh, can I? Velcro's brand name. Uh, but yeah, but you could do that. You could you could really go to town uh, with this that you're looking at. Thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Zero two 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 one one is your item number for your little scrappy classic grey mat, full pre cut kit, twelve <laughs> inch by twelve inch. Zero two 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 one one is your item number. Thirteen pounds, ninety nine pence. I got stitch. Uh, right then, what are you up to? <laughs> Well, and breathe. In, in that time, I've finished my block. So you can see you've only got to make 16 blocks. So you've got one of them completed already. And I've stitched every row of that in real time and finished way before Adam got back down the counter towards us. Didn't you did. come up. You did? I did. I was ready. And you weren't racing. You, you no, were just, I just sewing normally. Yeah. So, and you, you just feel you've achieved something straight away. Really gorgeous. So that's one completed, um, what's block. this? Uh, well, warm winter wishes, Look, yes, which yes. I just love that warm winter wishes. I like I like the words as well. I like to put the words together. Yeah. So I thought I'd whip out a um, Prairie Dreams oh. kit, 
which is now on the table in front of me here and alongside my other one. I haven't done tandem log cabins before, so we could have one, one strip, one colour and one another, but we'll try. Um, so exactly the same, you see, work exactly the same. So um, take our small piece, put it on here and fits beautifully and then stitch okay just stitch quarter of an inch as we did before along the side like so now take I your time there's no need to rush this it's not a race take your time with your rows enjoy it it's just such a pleasure just such a pleasure to to create and you know, if you were just buying one kit, nobody would know that you'd made them a quilt no, true. For, the, for like two for one, really, would they? No, they really wouldn't. They could have a little gift. And when you break it down, really, you're talking just over, well, it's just under, isn't it? 50 quid a quilt, which is, which is good. Considering complete. Complete. Yeah. When you're talking about two quilts, though, because one quilt, you'll have a top and you'll have all the wadding. When there's the next top, you'll just have the top. But then when you sort of break it down, you're talking roughly about 50 quid a quilt. Yeah. Which is which is good. The grey option, oh my word, we're approaching limited stock. We're approaching limited stock on that grey option. Oh now, my um, I think this is because you've seen the grey, the double grey behind <laughs> pattern mark, the big one. You can do that with any colour, I must stress this out, okay? What you currently see behind mark at the moment <laughs> is two kits, Mark, you're on the telly. Uh, smile. Uh, so, <laughs> there is two kits that we look at on there. So, that is just two kit and by the looks of it you'd still have bits left over because you've only used one two three four of the backing pieces on that yeah, yeah. so you'll have 21 of those pieces left just, just mention, that's still another quilt just to mention these there's 25 of these in a layer cake there's 42 so you get just over half a layer, cake. a layer cake yeah. and how many do we need to make the extra quilt the backing quilt that one that marks going from how many like, how many squares you, are in that with two kits you'd get you'd get uh, 48 of these. But, uh, so 50, 50 of these. Sorry. So I've got enough to make yeah. another quilt? Yeah. 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 It's a given, isn't it? It's a given. <laughs> I think I confused everyone then, but I knew what I meant. Uh, <laughs> you've got, you've, so you, whatever option you go for, in theory, you're still going to be able to get something out of it at the end, as well as the quilt that you started with, is where I'm going around the houses with this, like on the binman. But what you pay for is you pay for the actual quilt, but then you're going to be able to get, whether it is a pillowcase, but you make it slightly smaller, whether it is a table runner, but you make it slightly smaller, whether it's coasters to go next to the bed, it's entirely up to you. It's still going to work and it's all going to match. And this is what I love about this little bundle that we're talking about at the moment. We are approaching limited stock on that grey option. Uh, 482632 is your item number as well. Uh, your Prairie Dreams are flying out the door as well. A third of the stock of your Prairie Dreams now has already gone. Um, I'm going to ask the question that I asked earlier to Pat in prep when we were talking about it. <laughs> um, it no, it's all right. It's not that bad. Okay, great. We, not I, that I know the answer that, that you gave me. We're all fine. <laughs> It wasn't that question. It was the, no, it wasn't that question. Uh, the question was, if I wanted to go bigger, could <laughs> I mix the kits? And you, and you sort of, you, well, you tell me what you told me. If uh, I wanted to mix around the colours. Well, I wouldn't advise you to mix, mix the colours of the kits because you've got a plan to what you're doing and it, the colours make the, the design, design. Yeah. so if you start putting different colors in unless you you know some expert quilters there might think well i'd quite like to do that well that's fine but it's uh, the because the colors are matched and the colors are from a range and that's where they go together yeah. well and because it's a repetitive block as well even more so because it's a repetitive block you've got that structure within the quilt if it was different shapes different blocks you, you could get away with it, but I, I wouldn't on this. And different colours, you could you end up maybe losing the design as yeah. well. It's, yeah. good to, yeah. it's good to know, though, these things. And, and no question is a silly question, but I thought I'd ask it because obviously you think, well, it, it's greys and blacks will go with anything. Necessarily not in this case. Because they are beautiful patterns by Moda mm. and they all work on their own right, stick to what, you know, the work has all been done for you. Why yeah. make it even harder than it needs to be? If you're going for two of the kits, why make it even more difficult to then try and pattern match yourself when you've sat there for hours at home and you've done all the work for us? We might as well go with that first of all. Uh, we are very busy. Classical grey. No. Limited stock. 
<laughs> Classical grey, limited stock. We're green on screen, which means you're keen. Uh, so how, if you've got them in your baskets, I would definitely start checking out any baskets. Now, now I'm not here to poke and prod you. That's not what I do. You know what it is? I say it as it is. We are super, super busy. If you've got anything in your basket, start checking it out. If you're a Freedom member, you can always come back at any time. And remember, once you check it out though, you've also got that free gift. One per person is what it will be. You're gonna get that free gift as well. And once they've gone, they've gone. It's one of those. So once again, try and get it uh, ahead of the game. If you've got it in your basket, start checking out. You'll also get your free gift as well. Let's go back to demo. <laughs> I'm so fast when you're watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got these, these Ten and a half inch squares here, just to show the colours, the richness of the colours on the back. Yeah, it's the, the 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 ranges themselves are really beautiful, and you know, like the richness of this, the Prairie Dreams, and the I, I honestly I like them all. That's the problem, mate. Mark, if you turn them to camera two, which is on your right hand shoulder, there we go. It looks further away than it is, but there you go. Another one. Yep. There we go. And we can see them then. There you go. As you were. As you were. Um, it just, you know, the, it just shows you, you might not even want to make another quilt with them. You might want to make something else, haven't you? You don't have to make another quilt. You could make a, a set of cushions or something to go with the quilt you've made. So you don't have to do that. It's just, just such lovely fabric that it's worth thinking about, isn't it? No, it really is worth thinking about. Yeah. And I don't, I think we were having a relaxed cup of coffee when we decided to do that, weren't we, Mark? We were. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should give them the backing as well. Oh, but and, then not... the, and then the calico option came along as well. Yeah. Because I said, if you've got any savvy, you're going to make a quilt out of the, <laughs> the, the squares, you're going to keep them in front of the project. And so that's why we come up with the, use the calico idea as well. I use the idea of that. But I'm guessing, and I, I don't want to put words in my mouth and tell me if I'm wrong, this is only going to be like once in a blue moon. To do this is a lot of work for yourselves as well, to do backing and front and all the cutting. I, yeah. You've done it obviously because it's the 16th birthday, it's a big celebration. Yeah. Yeah. But these quilts aren't going to come around that often. This is like not a new thing the, that we're going to see whole, every time the, you're here. The oh, whole no. package is a once off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's yeah. it's no it's too it's too much and it's also too can you you can't imagine <laughs> how many rolls of wadding this fat we've had delivered to our I house you know, you know and if you've got a, have you seen a boxing gym with all those <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> the, the bags hanging like. from the ceiling it's like that so we can't do it all the time and we don't do this we've only done three one day specials this yeah. year and you know we won't be doing another one for a, a, at least six Probably months six will months we now. five or six months so you know it's it's just such a good opportunity and we do like as i said to make them special and thank you for everybody for watching and shopping because our last one was amazingly successful thanks to um the craft yeah. store customers so um you know long as long as people long like we, them as long as we keep on bringing the special deals what they are um, that's what we'll keep doing. It is. We've had a beautiful email in as well from Tracy. She's, um, she said she's just bought her very first quilting kit. Okay. She's never quilted before. This was the first time she's doing it. She's got a standard sewing machine. Yep. Will she be able to quilt it with a machine once it's all sewn together? Um, all of the quilts here are hand quilted. They're not machine quilted just because I like to do hand quilting. Um, and it's um, a, a running stitch, that's all you do. And if it was your very first project, I would quilt something else first, like something a cushion, smaller, yeah. something smaller. Because it isn't that it's difficult, it's just getting it under the machine and turning it and all that. So it's definitely possible, but um, it, it is a practice thing, very much so, machine quilting. If Tracy, if you are still watching, thank you for your email. If she tried the practice sort of session first, the free gift that yeah. she'd got, yeah. and she turned that into maybe a smaller pin cushion and had a go on that first, would that work? Yeah, with a wadding and some backing, yeah. So she knows um, what she's You need up to, to. Uh, make your machine stitch. It'll come on at your normal sewing stitch. You need to make it a little bit longer. Definitely same thread, top and bottom, bobbin and top. Um, and um, go slowly. That would be my advice. Go slowly. Um, I, I don't like machine quilting just because I like the relaxation of the hand quilting. But um, a lot of people do it, so it's not a problem. And you don't have to... You, there's some little pictures of in the 
in the designs that show you my quilting, which is, I've just gone down every strip of fabric, um, but you could go diagonally. You could put like squares all over it, like the back's got squares all over it. That's how you can make it, it individual as well, isn't it? Yeah. By putting different, different yeah. designs on it. Yeah. Because it's easier to go on a machine straight than then turn. So if you are machine quilting it, then you go slowly and straight and try not to turn too much. There you go, Tracy. I hope that answers your question. We've had another email in Ooh. from Amy's left-handed. Okay. Does it matter which way round you go for the block? No, as long as they all go the same way. Yeah. So if she's left-handed, she'll probably naturally go the opposite way to me. And that's fine and so as long as all of your blocks are the same. And it's still the same rule you go where the double seam is? Yes. Yeah. So always start from the double seam. It doesn't matter which way you go round, no. as long as you start with that double seam, you'll always be in the right place. As long as you, when you get to that stage, like you've got to get three on before yeah. you get to that stage. Um, like I've got one here with three on. So you've got to get to that stage, one, two and three, one, two and three. And this will be, once you get your fourth on, that's where you see that two appearing. Do that again, show again. So yeah, one, two, three, and then that's where you get the fourth one appearing. You've got two joins in your seam. That's all it. That's all it. It is, and it's the only one. There's not two of them. It's the only one with two joins in the seam. There you go, Amy. Uh, you can take that brick wall down now. You didn't get out of it that easily. You can also do <laughs> left-handed as well. And Definitely. Uh, thank you for your email back as well, Trace. Uh, we answered her question perfectly. I say you answered her question perfectly. She's uh, now fully competent. Oh, good. Right then, we'll start. I say fully competent. I'll just put words <laughs> in your mouth, Trace. I'm guessing you will, but I hope of she is. You will, yeah. but, uh, right then, we're she... staying with you. What are you up to? Well, I'm, I'm this far another, along another, another block one. Made. Yeah. Um, sometimes in the um, kits, we like we like to like um, turn it up a little bit and make them t slightly different. And the uh, Prairie Dreams has got the same sort of fabric, but a different print, just to make it a little bit different, keep my brain moving a little bit. And keep me on my toes. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> make any difference at all. It's just still the same size, you follow still the, the same sizes. same tone as well. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely yeah. the same tone. Um, just to give it a little bit of an extra look. A look, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you lay them out the same in their size order. Okay. Okay. So it's funny everybody likes the grey, isn't mm. it? It's the, uh, it's the. I don't know. It's my, the most. I think my favourite's the. Um, oh, fairy, don't say fairy, what your favourite is. Fairy dreams, I think, <laughs> and then and then the warm winter wishes. You made that, no, and, then, uh, and I like that one as well. Yeah, but you've said that all along. But I like this. Grey. The grey is a masculine. I'm a fan well. of the autumnal. Yeah. I this yeah. is the prairie. This is absolutely beautiful. It would go in almost half the stock of the prairie is already gone. Um, I'm a massive fan of that one. I think it's because it's the mustards and the navies that are in there. Very on-trend colours uh, at the moment, your mustards and your navies, as well as greys and whites. Oh, hello. Uh, are also... <laughs> Uh, also very busy grazing now. It was my fault. I walked into the shop. Um, Julie's asking. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> oh, I like questions. Uh, no, I like questions as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, Julie's now asking. Thank you yeah. for your email, Jules. Yeah. Um, when you're what's that? When you're hand quilting, do you rest it on your knees? I do. <laughs> and uh, and you know some people would go, you know. So I like to sit comfortably in a chair. I usually tuck one leg underneath myself, don't yeah. I? And I sit there and away I go, yeah. If it's very big quilt, I might have to rest it on the table because it like falls off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, pulls it slightly, yeah. yeah. So if it's a big, very big, bigger than these, these are all quilted just me sitting in a chair, yeah. And sometimes you'll do a block or two blocks and then that's all she'll do one evening because she's listening or watching the television at the same time as doing that. If it's like one of those programs you can half listen to and half watch. I'm, I'm with yeah. you, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we have another, right, this is, I'm going to put you on the spot Oh, here. my God. Thank okay. you for your email, <laughs> Sheila. OK, thank you for your email. I'm going to ask the question, um, and if we don't answer it this hour, we'll come back to it, because they may have to work it out for you. Right? Oh, I, my I reckon goodness. It'll be four. Is, it, is um, it a pen and paper job? I think it might be. Well, you, you might know the size already. Okay. Sheila wants to make a quilt. There's 108 by 108 inch. She's asking how many kits will she need? Holy guacamole. No, exactly. <laughs> okay, so the largest one in here on my little plan, um, it doesn't actually say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight blocks by eight blocks, so it would come out at 80 inches-ish without your border. So, I think she. Five kits? 
yeah, I think five. Mm. I'll do. I will do an accurate um, valuation. Yeah, in my break. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, at least five. Because the trouble is, when you get the bigger you get, the more you need in a row, which I know is obvious, but <laughs> it makes a big difference. Like yeah, when you add in the bigger and bigger and bigger you get. But you could do four kits and then add some different borders. But if you bought that many kits, you'd have these. Could you put these as a border around the outside and an extra, extra rows? You could. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. You might have to, might be, might, I'm not going to say save by from buying an extra kit, but it gives you an extra option yeah, to the make back. it. Yeah. yeah, if you use the, the squares from the back. Shall I leave it, shall I leave it with you? If she used the squares <laughs> from the back of all the four kits, she would definitely get one 108. Yeah. Yeah. So if you use the squares from the back as well, um, Sheila? Sheila. Sheila, if you use the squares back, you, you are going to get the size that you want. OK? So if you use the size from the back as well. Um, I hope that made sense. If not, email me back in and we'll work <laughs> it out for you. The best thing to do, Sheila, is what... You, what uh, Sheila, email me in. Just say yes. You, you give us permission to give your email address to Pat and Mark and then we'll let you do it that way. That might be easier, yeah. then you can email her personally and sort it all out that way. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What if it, what, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what <laughs> if the one she wants is sold out by then? I well, will. Exactly, this is the thing. <laughs> I'm going to do it in the break. Oh, she'll so do it in the break. We'll, we'll we do can it, do either way, we'll do but I will do it anyway. Well, we'll do it, we'll sort it all out for you. Sheila, don't you worry, you're in safe hands, and we'll pass it on to <laughs> Leonie as well. And it's the same team producing at eight o'clock, so they'll make sure that your question gets answered. Right, are we going back to demo? Let's go back to demo. Okay. I feel the demo is a little repetitive. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gorgeous fabrics. But it is gorgeous yeah. fabrics, yeah. And these, these are your sort of colours as well, aren't they? Yeah, these Very are. Um, for, for me, this is uh, arranged by Kansas Troubles for Moda. Um, they're very much, this is their colour palette. Um, co country colours, really, really lovely. Rich, strong, but yeah. very warmly. Warm, mm. Warmly, is that a word? No, no. I don't think it is. Warming uh, colours. And we've had this range for a long time. Oh, wow, I've yeah. been waiting for, to mm. use it. and I Waiting for the right thing to use it for. Yeah, and I knew this was coming up and it's yeah. been choosing the right ranges so we've had to do them over quite a period yeah. of time and planning isn't it yeah but the and warm winter wishes literally it should have been in the country in july and it literally came like two weeks ago it was like <laughs> unpack it quick yeah, yeah. <laughs> so some of them like i could have made i could have used all this fabric many times but i just wanted to save it for this event event that's what it is it isn't is. it it is an event it's, it's your 16th, event. 16th birthday sweet 16 is what we're talking about um while we let that so them last ones on let me give you a quick we've only got four and a half uh, four less than four minutes left now uh, so let me give you a quick rundown of all the color options uh, that we're talking here you've got your warm winter wishes a quarter of the stock has already gone for your warm winter wishes this is the one uh, that you currently see uh, behind me just here uh, is what you're looking at if i move out of the way your warm winter wishes a quarter of the stock has already gone. Uh, from there, though, uh, we're then also talking about your prairie dreams. Almost half the stock of your prairie dreams has already gone on this one. So that is your prairie dreams that we are looking at there. So half the stock of that one has already gone. Remember, you get complete kit. Full kits, top, middle and bottoms is what you're getting on this one. From there, we've then also got your classical grey down to single figures single figures for your classical gray silver if you're going for the gray get five kids um if you're going for the gray i'm down to single <laughs> figures single and then last but not least softer snow 20 percent of softer snow has already gone 20 percent of the overall stock i got remember though you're a womble. Uh, you're going to get a free gift, 1450 is what you're looking at. Uh, you, get the, you get the paper. You're also going to get the bits to put them all together. And once you put them all together, uh, you get semaphore flags is what you're going to be getting. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, great little practice. If you can do these, if you can do this, okay, <laughs> you can do these. Because if you could do this, these are even easier, trust me. Um, that you will be able to achieve this. So if you can do the free gift, first of all, straight out the bag, 
you are going to be able to create these as well. I absolutely adore them. I really, really do. Right, and we've only got a few minutes left. Let's go back to Pat Mark. What are you up to this time? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> Thanks, stop. <laughs> Because <laughs> I finished. Oh, you finished? Because I finished my two other block. block. Two blocks done. Two blocks. In an hour. Oh Less my than word. Hour. Less, Less than, than an hour. hour. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. Now, when she got to this, you know, you think, oh, I've cracked this now. I've made this one block. I'll just do it differently. You can do all of this stage first. So you could put all of your small block lit strips onto your centre. Repeat until all those have gone. Then go to your iron, press them all, come back, then do the next stage and the next stage. Depends what sort of a worker you are. Um, like, I like to see some rewards, so I like to get like, like a build row. build a block up and then see yeah, the block Yeah, a finish. row and, yeah. and, 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 and that. But if you like to chain piece and crack on with them, that's another way to work with them. You can do them and just go through them, all the, you know, all this, you get what I'm saying, don't you, Adam? Yeah, I get yeah. what you're saying. I, yeah. I would do it the way you have been doing it, then you can't get you lost. Yeah. Yeah, Mentally, you, you can't get lost because you go with the pattern Yeah, you and go. the thing is, if you do it wrong and you're doing, like, 15 blocks, you'll do it on all of them You've wrong. You've done 15 blocks wrong. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, if you haven't done it before, definitely take your time, step do one step. at a time, but that is another option um, if you're more experienced. The way you've done it there is the way the, instruction, written. the yeah, instructions yeah. are written, yeah? Yeah. So. Uh, Sheila's emailed back in and she said she's going to use the backings as well when you do your calculations okay. on your abacuses. Okay. Uh, she's taking her back, she's going to be using the backings as well. Okay, okay. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sheila, we will let you know at 8 o'clock though, never fear. Um, Ali only will let you know what we're up to on that one. Right then, we haven't got that long left. I've only got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Make sure you are checking out of your baskets, uh, is what you do because for the sheet facts, I don't want you to miss out. Uh, Grey is limited stock, super limited stock. I'm down to the final few figures on those ones. 15 seconds left. It's been a pleasure. Thank you ever Thank so much. You. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Back at 8 o'clock with the earning? Yes. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock with the earning. Keep your questions coming in as well, though. In the subject, uh, just put Pat and Mark, and we'll ask them all at 8 o'clock. Don't go anywhere. I'm with you in the next hour. I'll